Right, uh, as you saw from the previous video, I hooked up the uh, solar controller, the MPPT um, controller. Uh, I wrote down here, uh, I had it in series, and I also, I'm going to put it into parallel today too, uh, and see what the difference is. I did a lot of reading on there, a little bit of research. I find out, I wrote down here, parallel, parallel panels, you want to be, have the similar specifications. The panel has to be same, more or less the same voltage, and everything stays the same, same voltage, the, the same amps on your parallel panels. So if you're hooking them in parallel, you want to be like a 150 watt panel and a 150 watt panel. And they both have the same uh, wattage and the same amps if you're running in parallel. Uh, and then I also read if you want to run it in series, you're better off wiring in 150 watt and 100 watt for series. That's what it's, that's what's working out. Uh, why? Because if you run it in uh, parallel, you'll have a 150 watt panel, and say you've got a 100 watt panel in parallel, that 100 watt panel. Will bring it down to equal to 100 watt. So instead of producing 200, 250 watts, you only have a 200 watt panel. Right? That's if you're wiring in parallel. If you're wiring in series, it combines all those panels together. It could be a 90 watt, an 80 watt, or a 100 watt, but it, it combines it if it's put into series. Uh, so it's acting as one big panel. So you have wired in series, it's wired in as one big panel. If it's wired in parallel, it's going to take it from the smallest panel and work it away from that way. Does that sound I'll say it again. So if you've got in parallel, if you've got a 200 watt panel and a 100 watt panel, that 100 watt panel is going to bring the 200 watt panel down to equal of a 100 watt panel. So you're going to be pushing out 200 watts. In series, if you've got a 200 watt panel and a 100 watt panel, it'll combine it together and it'll have a 300 watt panel. Are you with me? So, we'll go up on the roof and we'll see the difference uh, running through here, right? I'll show you right now what it looks like. So, at the minute, it's kind of sunny today. Uh, I'm in parallel. We'll go up on the roof for the minute and show you. Coming in, right? And we've got, for the sun now, I've got about 11. Store 11 volts coming out of the uh, MPT controller. Okay, and let's put it into. We'll put it into series. I think you see this, guys. Me, me doctors off. So here we are, we're running in, this is series, 
39.5 volts. Uh, we got 2.8 amps going in. And we got 7.5 amps going out. So guys, that's in, that's in uh, series now. You can see, what's the amps now? 10, 70, 7. So there's only uh, 11 amps. 10, 3 quarters, 11 amps pumping in there now. series we've got in series we've got 35.1 volts coming in and 37 amps antenna so guys I hope I didn't confuse you between parallel and series but you can see what I mean the only difference I can see by doing all those tests on it and I've checked it out a few other people uh, in the States I know the only difference, everybody, some people say series is great, some people say parallel is good, it's the way you take it. But with using this, reading the amps coming in, the sun's been pretty good today. The only difference I can come across between parallel and series is if you have mismatched panels, series is good. That's the only reason. Because at the end of the day, the amps going in, the uh, AMPP controller, the amps going out are, are the same, virtually the same, as you saw when I'm using this here. So, like I said, so the amps are, amps are the same going out, that's what matters, into your battery. So, parallel and series. The amps are staying the same, go into the battery. The only difference that uh, it makes is if you've got in series, if you have mismatched panels, in series it works brilliant. It makes it all one big panel. If you have mismatched panels in parallel, you have a 120 watt panel and a 150 watt panel. That'll bring the uh, that'll bring the the 120 will bring the 150 watt down to 120 watt so you only have 240 watt panel or panels at the end of the day so like it says series if you have mismatch panels run it series if you don't might as well run it parallel because it doesn't make any difference with the amps which leaves the controller into the uh batteries so they are take it out wherever you want so guys what i was saying was that noise was there. So you got two panels, 150 watt, 120 watt in parallel. So parallel, we got the red wire, the red here, and then black here. So red goes to red, and red to red, black and black. That's parallel. Problem with parallel is if you've got mismatched panels, all right, this 120 watt panel will bring this this 150 watt panel down to a 120 watt. That's the only problem. Plus, uh, you got a total of so you got 20 volts will be going in all right now in series got red black so I got our positive negative so we'll take the from the 120 watt panel we'll take the black and hook it into the red so this will be the plus and this will be the negative hooked in so black into red 
we'll take the red from here and the red and it's black the black that's yeah, negative I'll just run in a series and then this will go down to the, uh, down to my M P P T controller and as we know if you run series you add all the volts together so it says panel here is a 20 volt is 20 volt gives us a total of 40 volts going down to the controller this is where you gotta watch guys because say if you have another panel you have uh, two more panels that could give us a total of 80 volts so you gotta watch what's going into your controller the MPPT controller or the spicy the PWM so that's what you gotta watch in series the good point about series is that the 120 watt panel and the 150 watt panel is all together classes one big panel so that'll give it a total of 270 watts all right where this one where the parallel is only going to give us the 150 watt and the two the 120 watt it only give us what 240 so we've lost because of the parallel we have lost ourselves 30 watts all right that's really in parallel if you're running mismatch panels running mismatch panels in series it works better take that wherever you want all right guys i hope that makes sense without confusing you i had I had to make a few cuts and mess around with this because i was confusing myself trying to tell what i what i what i found I sat here for like three, four hours, about uh, five days, six days, of what I knew, and five or six days of reading up and looking at stuff, and using this here, jumping down the roof, testing at the amps and what's going in. It doesn't make a difference if you're on parallel or series. The only difference is if you have mismatch panels, that's all. Okay, guys? So, think what you may. That's what it is. All right, guys. Y'all uh, stay safe and uh, like, subscribe, share, and uh, click the like button. Uh, catch you later. Be safe, guys. Thank you.